Live from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Toronto Blue Jays going up against the New York Yankees. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And towing the slab here, Michael King. Well, he's got great stuff, but what makes his stuff even better is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time, high leg kick, and by the time the hitter sees it, it's right on top of him. Here's the veteran outfielder, George Springer. And a pitch. Up and in. And with that, we're underway in the Bronx. And the 1 0. And a swing and a miss. 1 and 1. Line drive, and it goes just oh, foul. foul. Chris, one of the things that's really cool about George Springer's story is what he has overcome. As a kid, he had a lot of anxiety, and he had a stutter, and he's a guy now that speaks publicly and does so marvelously and is a great spokesperson for young people who struggle with stutter. Yeah, the Stuttering Association for the Young, SAY is the acronym, and George Springer doing a great job representing that organization. Up to the plate is Brandon Belt. In the air to left, down the line. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. Popped in the air. Left field. Pereira brings it in with a nice running grab. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. First offering misses the mark. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Check swing, no appeal, and it's two and one. A little bit low. Bobichet in the on deck circle. The three one. And strike two. Stays alive. Two down, nobody on. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Blue Jays nothing. Yankees coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. at Yankee Stadium and on the mound today Jose Barrios well Boog he's the type of guy that you can bet on to give you quality innings most of the time he goes out there guy knows how to pitch he's got good stuff sometimes it can be even plus stuff first time through the order though I think that's going to tell us a lot about how he's feeling today and how he's going to settle into this ball game and attacking hitters so coming into the game now on defense Santiago Espinal he'll play second DJ LeMahieu will get things going the pitch and he takes a strike
and the 0 1. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Chapman makes the catch, and there's one gone. Batting second, the shortstop, Anthony. Next up, it's the first year shortstop, Anthony Volpe. That's out to center field. Varsho moving under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And a couple of quick outs. Batting third. The designated hitter. Now it's the rookie DH, Austin Wells. In there for strike one. Good eye right ball. there. One ball, one strike. There yeah, now two That's balls ball. and a strike. Left hand batter waits. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. One, two, three, go the Yankees. We played an inning. No score. New inning getting started. Now the Toronto four-hole hitter, Bo Bichette. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. And that's in the dirt. Ball one. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the All microscope. Right. Called strike right there. Two and one. And it's even up. Wow, no Two fair right now. there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Toss to LeMahieu. Yeah. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. No score here in the second. Next offering misses, and that's ball two. Time to check on our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well-liked umpire, Boog. Pretty consistent with his zone, so if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. That's in there. It's two and two. And downstairs. Count is full. One down, base is empty. And he walked him. One gone runner at first. So up next for Toronto, Alejandro Kirk. First pitch, and he just misses. Here goes the runner. Ground ball right side, and he handles it himself for the out. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there, just rolled over it, got the ground ball. 
Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. Feels like it's less common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Oh, and two as he waves at that oh, one. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Next one is off the play, and it's two and two. It's a good take. Kicks and deals. Got him. Third out. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Bottom of the second, and here's the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. The wind and the pitch. Really good athlete, and many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. 0-2 now. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Well, take a look at the three-pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0-2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Isaiah kiner falefa up to the plate. That's in for a strike. Really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and presents it so well, he steals strikes for his pitcher. The 0 one. And the 0 two. And that's down it away. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Oswaldo Cabrera stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Rip to third. And that is that. So the Yanks go in order. We'll move to the third with no score. Out of the third inning, and now for the Jays, Matt Chapman. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. The 1 0. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Here comes a pitch. This to third. Tosses to first. One up, one down. And now it's Dalton Varsho. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And first offering is fouled off. 
and you played behind guys and they loved having your speed out there defensively one of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them and yeah, the right-hander deals so a foul ball makes it one and two Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. So the batting order turns over. George Springer next up for the Blue Jays. Grounded out his first time. That yeah. one's in there on one. The 0-1. A little out front there as he swings through it. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. The one, two. Up the middle. Sneaks through, base hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. Good extension on that swing. Took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. And next for Toronto, Santiago Espinal. Entered the game on defense, so this is his first trip to the plate yeah. in this one. In there and it's 0-1. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Here comes the 0-1. That missed. That's the ball. One and one. King checks on first. And Springer's in there safely. The pitch. Into center. Florial puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. One left for Toronto, and we're still knotted at zero. As we go to the last of the third, and here is Oswald Peraza. Barrios in his seventh season, 28 years old, and he was born in Puerto Rico. That's in there, and that's strike one. Righty delivers. That's inside. That's in, Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Got him swinging. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base paths, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Not even one one. close there. One ball, one strike. And another ball. Oh. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. The wind of the pitch. That one fouled off two and two. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Two 
Pichu now. Just That's off the inside edge. You got a full count. And there's ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And now it's Esteban Florial. And that's in there for strike one. Just off the inside edge. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. Pereira, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Swing and a miss. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of a double play here. That one inside. And it's two and two. Man, oh man. I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Up to the plate steps DJ LeMayhew. 0 for 1 as he popped out foul to third his first time up. Barrios a check to first. Pereira back in on a dive. In there for strike one. At the belt and fires. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. And it's a ball and a strike as the runner holds. Throw over the first. And he's back in safely. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. The 1-2. 2-2. Two. Two and two. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. He makes the grab, and that'll do it. One left for the Yankees. Still no score. Out of the fourth, and now for the Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The wind of the pitch. And that's ripped for a base hit. The throw to second. In safely with a leadoff double. Go ahead runs in scoring position. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. A lot riding on this next at bat now as they look to take the lead at a critical point in this one. Looks like we've got a substitution at second. On to pinch run, Cameron Eden. Bo Bichette up to the dish. He's 0 for 1. And that's downstairs and outside. The next offering misses. Ball two. And a good eye there. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with the middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. Kevin Biggio up next. There's a strike. Three and one. The other way, makes the catch, 
One down. So up next for Toronto, Kevin Biggio. He reached out a walk his first time. And takes low for ball one. Move to second, and he's back in there. Good wheels out there on second, and he's getting a pretty big lead right now. Definitely looking to score on any hit to the outfield. Next offering is in for a strike. This one chopped up the middle. In plenty of time to first, and they get Bitchill for the out. Here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. Grounded out his first time. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And he dodges that fastball. Straighten him up a little bit. The 1-0. Got it started a little too early, strike one. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's... And now this is down for a base hit. The run scores from third. On the board first, it's one zip. Just a huge at bat right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Here's Kiermaier now. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That's back. It bangs off the wall. Cut off, now a throw home. Not in time, he scores. And they take a two-run lead. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been. But obviously, you have to be happy with that result. And here is Matt Chapman. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Popped up. Peraza pulls that one down, and that's the inning. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. We're midway in the fourth. Blue Jays two, and the Yankees nothing. Now into the ball game on defense, Whit Merrifield. He takes over as the new first baseman. Now the number two hitter, Anthony Volpe. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Barrios back to work. And there's a strike. The Yankees looking to rally. The next pitch misses. And it's one and one. One ball, one strike. Just off no, the ball. outside part of the plate. Two balls, one strike. The pitch. That misses full the count. zone, and it's a full count. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Next is the designated hitter, Austin Wells. Struck out swinging his first time. That one's in there. That's strike one. 
The Yankees yet to pick up a hit here. That one inside. And the count even one and one. There's a strike. One and two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already. So he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Higashioka in the box now. No balls and a strike. That one way outside. Ball one. Right side. Springer there makes the catch. Yanks held in check. They trail it here 2 0. Back here in New York, ready now for the fifth inning. Stepping in, Dalton Varsho. And the right hater back to work. And that's off the inside edge. And that is ball one. Movement in the Yankees' pen. Luke Weaver getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Number 29 warming up as well. On the ground, right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. One away here in the fifth. Now batting. White Fielder. George. So the lineup flips over, and it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. One for two. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. That one catches the zone. Strike one. And a strike in there. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down in 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. And now one and two. That's the third. And the first two set down to the top of the fifth. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just bores in on the hands. Santiago Espinal, the next to hit. Flied out to center in his first at bat. Foul ball there. Right hander kicks deals. Ball. One and one. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Got it by him for the K. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays as they're unable to add to their 2 0 lead. Back now in the Bronx, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And stepping in for the Yankees, Isaiah Kiner-Falefa. Well, as a hitter, you don't want to be part of a team that was no hit. I mean, that's embarrassing, man. So this guy right here, he's looking to do anything he can in this leadoff at bat to make it tough. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. He was late there, strike one. I think he was sitting off speed there. Pitch misses outside. outside, and it's two and one. And that one a little bit high. And the right-hander's 3-1. That clips the inside corner for a strike.
That one misses. So a leadoff walk. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. And up next for New York, Oswaldo Cabrera. First time up, he grounded to third. That one missed. Pitch is outside. Oh, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game winning run to the plate. 2 0. <laughs> Connor Falefa gets his lead at first with nobody out. That one in for a strike, two and two. And that skips in the dirt. Oswald Peraza waits on deck. Three, two. And ball four, two aboard. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. And yeah, the batter now, Oswald Peraza. His first at bat was a strikeout. And there's the strike. He's looking for a strikeout or a ball on the ground for a double play to sort of calm this situation down. The 0 1. Here's a high chopper. Over to Merrifield. And that is a big first out. Couple of pitches and a quick out. Now left so two in scoring position with one out. And next for New York, Everson Pereira worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. There's the strike. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Next offering is down low. And now it's even one and one. This one in the air center field. Squeezes it. Runner tags from third. He scores! That's a big sacrifice fly, and now they trail by one. Sometimes all you gotta do is your job, and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner right third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play, and a nice job with the sack fly. And stepping in for the Yankees, Esteban Florial. That pitch gets the inside corner. That's strike one. Home team down a run. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. Swung on, belted. Springer going back, back some more. And he's got it, ball game. And the Blue Jays strand the tying run on base to win it. Well, a tight 2-1 ball game, classic pitching and defense in this game. A lot of good execution, and neither team really beat themselves by way of mistakes. But ultimately, it came down to one or two key plays to make the difference for the win. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chambi saying so long.